Hi, welcome to Pools and Bordery. My name is Michael. Today I have a solution for those of you who struggle inserting your needles into your commercial embroidery machine in the proper orientation. I have found the ultimate gadget that will help you solve this dilemma. Stay tuned. Okay, I promised you I was going to show you a really cool gadget that's going to solve your dilemma trying to insert needles into your commercial embroidery machine, which has multiple needles and mine, for example, has 15 needles. It can be quite a challenge if you need to change all 15 needles at the same time, right? So here's what I'm talking about. This is called Needle Ease and it's made by a company called Sunfacer Manufacturing and the customer service of that company is awesome. I specifically dealt with a lady named Jara Lee. She was very helpful in my post ordering questions. If you have any concerns about purchasing this product, I suggest that you contact them first and they were very pleasant to deal with. And also when you get your product, it comes in very nice packaging like gift wrapped and uh, you can tell that this company really cares about their customers. So big shout out to them. I think that they do a great job trying to give their customers the best experience possible. I will say that the tool is a bit expensive. It cost me 65 US dollars, but it was worth every penny once you figure out how to use it properly. It doesn't really seem like it would be that difficult. It's just that it can be frustrating if you have a machine like mine, the Baradin Pro 3, which has a very tight clearance for the area where the tool needs to go into. So I'll show you what I'm talking about there in a few minutes, but this is the tool and I'm going to show you how to insert the needle and how the tool works basically. So it has a piece right here, which might be blue. Mine's blue. Yours might be a different color if you order a different option and you're going to pull down and it's going to release the opening right here it's going to release the lock so that you can insert the needle and hopefully you can see that right there it has an opening and it has a groove you need to get the needle into the opening and up into that groove okay so here we are Try to get my hand out of the way and you pull down on the blue part pull down insert the needle into the opening and up into that groove let go of the spring we're going to turn it you hear that it clicks it clicks into place that means it's in the proper orientation that's it for turning the needle and making sure it's in the proper orientation now we just need to make sure that it is as far as it will go on that shaft okay on the skinnier part of your needle it needs to go up as high as it can go and if you're working with these needles you know what i'm talking about this part at the top is um, larger diameter and so the tool isn't meant to go up around that part. It's only meant to go around the lower shaft part. So it's already in the proper orientation, but we just need to make sure it is as high up as it can go. And it is, I've got it as tight as it will go, as high up as it will go. And now it's in the proper orientation. This is going to face the back of the machine. The um, scarf is right here on the needle. And that's the part that needs to be on the back of the machine or toward the back of the machine. And that's it. So it just makes it really easy. Let me show you a close up view of putting this inside the area where it needs to go. We are going to insert it into needle number eight opening. Okay, we insert it into the bottom part of the needle bar. Bring it around the back where we have more room. And if it doesn't go into the opening, it just means that you need to get it on the needle ease tool. It needs to be pushed up a little bit further or pushed down in this case, so that it's in there as far as it can go. And now 
we've got it in the opening, we just go ahead, push up, and then tighten the needle. Here's our screwdriver. Okay, I hate for my hand to be in the way, but hopefully you can see what's going on. Some people like to have the needle offset just a bit to the right. So I will offset it a bit and then go ahead and screw that in. To release the tool from the needle, we just pull back on the spring and whichever side we have the opening on, we need to come out the other direction. So if you were inserting it with the opening on the left side, you would need to come out to the right, but since we were on the left, we need to come out to the left. And that's it, all done.